So for today's video, my baby is going to be showing you guys how to make the outfit in the morning. So you're going to be losing all your outfits except for only one. So make sure you equip the outfit that you don't want to lose before doing the glitch. And make sure that um you main a female character. Because if you do it with a male character, it's not going to work. So make sure that you main a female character so um, you can do the glitch. And you're not going to have to merge any um, thing together in Crypt Cops. So to start with the glitch, just go ahead and hit your pause button, go to online, and just go into swap character. And also if you guys like the outfit that I had on in the intro, um, I got a video on that if you want to go watch that and make the outfit and get it for yourself too. So yeah, just to start the glitch, put on the outfit that you're going to keep and um, hit your pause button, go to online, and just go into swap character. So once your two characters come in, go over to your second character and if you don't see edit, on the bottom right that means that you have to delete that second character and then two new characters are going to walk in and you should see edit on the bottom right but if you do see edit on the bottom right go ahead and click edit on that second character and when you get that alert go ahead and accept it and when the second character comes in here if it ended up being a female like mine just go ahead and change it into a male but if it was already a male just leave it as a male and then go ahead and save and continue and then um make any random name for it and then take the picture and then after that it's going to load you into the um, casino DLC trailer. Alright so after you load inside of your new session after the casino DLC trailer. Just go ahead and open up your mini map and look for any of the clothing stores. If you don't see any clothing stores go ahead and um, switch sessions or find a new session. And the clothing store should appear inside of um, your next session. So once you get inside the clothing store go ahead and go to the top section. Go to the track jackets and buy the fireball track jacket. So just go to the um, top section, go to track jackets and buy the fireball track jacket, which is number 52. And then you want to go to um, the pants section, go to sport pants and buy the gray two-tone sport. So it's two sections. Be careful. If you go into sports pants, it's not going to be in there. So you got to go to sport without the um, S. Go to sport pants and buy the um, gray two-tone sports so i'm just going to show you guys so make sure you go to sport pants and buy the gray two-tone sport all right so after that um go to the shoe section go to um sport shoes and buy the citrus kicks so go to the shoe section go to sport shoes and buy the citrus i almost worked all right so just go to the um shoe section go to sport shoes and buy um the citrus kicks All right, so number 48. All right, so after you um after you got that, just go to um the caps, go to caps forward and buy the frontal green cap. I'm pretty sure that's how you say. It. Just go to the um caps, go to caps forward and buy the frontal green cap. And just to save you some time, instead of just going down like I am right here, just um hit up on your d-pad so it takes you to the bottom because the hat is going to be towards the bottom i didn't know so i was just scrolling um down but just go ahead and hit up on your d-pad so it takes you towards the bottom and you should find the hat towards the bottom of the bottom so remember it's going to be the frontal low green cap Alright, so once you got that, go ahead and come and save this outfit. And when you save it, remember to save it in an empty slot that's on your main character. So let's say if the outfit I didn't want to lose on my main character was in slot 20, I'll put this in a different slot. So save in a different slot that your main character doesn't have the outfit in that you want to lose in. So once you bought that, just go ahead and um once you save it, go ahead and take the easy way out. Now, I couldn't take the easy way out right here because there's a dumbass challenge going on. So I have to wait for um the challenge to be over. So once you save the outfit, just go ahead and take the easy way out. Like I said, I couldn't take the um, easy way out because there was um, a free roam event going on. So I'm going to skip to the part where the event was over. Alright, so now the challenge is over. So just go ahead and come and take the easy way out. Like I said earlier, 
and um, it's just spawn you outside of the clothing store. So when you um, spawn after taking the easy way out, just go ahead and hit your pause button, go to online, and just go into creator. So as you get into creator, go ahead and go to creator race and then go to land race. After that, click on race details, go ahead and fill out all the um, options with the red triangles. It doesn't have to be any specific description or title, any random thing will do. And then after that, put the um, maximum players on two and then put the um, root type on point to point. Then hit your pause button and just warp over to the airport. So once you get to the airport, just go ahead and hit B and then go to the placement, go to place triggers and go ahead and place this trigger and then back out. It's going to ask you to take the lobby camera and then after that, just back out and then go to checkpoints and then go ahead and make the race. Now the race has to be only 1.00 miles long. So either you just make it 1.00 miles long or like 1.01 or 1.02. As long as it's um 1.00 miles long or longer than that, um, it's gonna be okay so I just made mine I think 1.00 miles so after you made it that long just go ahead and um hit B twice so it backs you out to the option so you're gonna hit B twice and it's gonna give you an option to test out the race Alright, so once you finish the race, you're gonna get that alert, that alert right there. Go ahead and accept it, and then after that, just hit your pause button, go to online, go to um, choose character. Alright, so once you get in here, you want to go over to that second character, so that male character, and then we're going to delete that male character. So make sure you delete that male character, not your main character. Delete the second character that has the outfit that we made on him. So just go ahead and delete him. And then after that, two new characters are going to come on in. And from here, you just want to go ahead and um, just hit B so it backs you out into single player or story mode. Alright, so when you get single player, you're probably not gonna get this alert. But if you get this, go ahead and accept it. It doesn't matter. It's not gonna mess up the glitch or anything. So when you get single player, just go ahead and hit your pause button. Go to um online, go to play GT online, and just go in the invite only session. Alright, so once you load into online, go ahead and go save the outfit that you didn't want to lose. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and come save this outfit. 
and then after that you should be able to open up your um, interaction menu and then select the outfit that you had made earlier so that's gonna be for this video if you guys enjoyed it and like the outfit don't forget to drop a like on the video share subscribe and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on any other video so this is the outfit right here for you guys enjoyed it and like i said don't forget to leave a like on it share it and subscribe